ketone bodies are manifestation of the negative energy balance brought about by increased milk yield and decrease in appetite. The adverse effect of ketosis could be short or long term ones and it affects both milk production, fertility and survival. Because ketotic cows are usually the high yielding cows in the herd, what we get in the end is a negative selection where the best cows, they are not fertile, they get culled because of infertility or some metabolic disease. Although we try in veterinary medicine to prevent diseases, in the end we find out that the nutritionist can't always find the answers and diagnosis and early diagnosis and prompt treatment of the disease is really the only solution we have. This can be done only nowadays by daily monitoring of ketosis in the calving cows up to 60 or 70 days in milk. In a state of ketosis, milk fat increases and milk protein declines. Hence, high values of milk fat to protein ratio are used as an indicator of ketosis. In this case, the AFI milk system identified four ketotic cows requiring treatment out of 400 milking cows. This identification was based on fat to protein ratio values measured by AFI lab. Identified cows had already been automatically sorted into the veterinary treatment shed by the AFISORT sorting gate as they left the milking parlor. On that day, all four cows were tested for both blood and urine ketone levels. Testing was performed every two hours, three times during this day. In the first measurement, no sign of ketosis in the urine of any of the cows was found. However, one cow was diagnosed with ketosis by blood test. The second measurement didn't detect any ketotic cow by both blood and urine. In the third measurement, another cow was diagnosed with ketosis by blood test. Still, there was no evidence of ketosis in the urine. Using blood tests, two cases of ketosis were diagnosed, but only one animal was identified in each test session. Using the urine tests, no cow would have received the necessary treatment. This also means that other real-time testing solutions, consisting of a single ketone body measurement, suffer from the same two basic problems observed. Which cows should be set aside for testing, and when should this test be performed? These two dilemmas are automatically and effectively solved by AFILAB.